We got the Two of Swords reversed. We got the Six of Swords reversed. And then we have the Creator reversed. So, Leo, okay. Somebody made a decision to, to let something go. Whether this is you or somebody else. It's in your energy. But somebody decided to accept this decision that was made. And it could be by you. Maybe you made a decision, Leo, to cut somebody out of your life, Leo. And leave this person completely alone. But it's like this person feels like they have no choice but to accept this cutoff. You see what I'm saying? Because... They feel like mentally they can't they can't move on like from you. They can't move on from you. They can't move on from making change within they, you know, they physical their material life. And it's like they they forced to accept it. Even though they don't want to accept the simple fact that you cleared this person out of their life, you know, out of your life, Leo. Even though they don't want to accept it, it's like this person like even though I have, you know, I don't, I don't like this, the decision that she made, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to change anyways. You see what I'm saying? This is somebody who is still mentally having a hard time getting over you and making physical change. You see what I'm saying, Leo? Because it, this is the mentality that they got with these swords that, they're not okay with you moving it on, moving on, but at the same time, they're not gonna change either. So why should I? That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who is stubborn and stuck in their ways. I'm getting um, they too comfortable. I'm getting this complacent energy with this person, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. Even though they don't like the simple fact that you have cut them out, off, you know, out of your, the, you know, your life or whatever, dang, can I talk? Even though you cut them off, they are not okay with that. But they like, you know, I wasn't gonna change anyways. You know what I'm saying? So I might as well like stay the same because she don't want nothing to do with me anyways. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person feels like they don't have no choice but to stay the same, Leo, because you don't want nothing to do with them. But they don't want to change. What else do we have? Y'all must be dealing with an air sign. Or you could be an air sign watching. And maybe you was dealing with a Leo. But we got the Knight of Swords right here. So, some of you guys, your person going to give in anyways. And reach out to you. And communicate. Some of you guys, this person may try to like... Get very verbally, like, aggressive with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm getting with the Knight of Swords. Somebody who, you know, who was just really aggressive with their words. You know, because they mad. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. After you clear this person out of your life. And it's crazy because I don't even think you think about this person anymore. I don't even think this person is an option of yours, Leo. Like, I don't even think this person, basically is saying this person is irre irrelevant. On your end. You could be looking at this person as irrelevant, Leo. Like, literally. And then they try to come pop back up. And get aggressive with you. Mad because not only you moved on. But also. It's like they stuck in their ways. They, they feel like they don't know how to change or they don't want to change. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they just don't want to. They can't accept this ending, Leo. A lot of swords. Some of y'all definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Or like I said before, you could be an air sign watching, but maybe the Leo is the person that you know that could be acting this way or whatever. But we got the Ten of Swords reverse once again. They don't like the simple fact that you ended it, Leo. Your person playing victim for real. They acting like you hurt them because you cut them off and you showing them that they're not important. You see what I'm saying? So they're trying to play victim like you hurt them. Like, you was the reason why 
you know, everything. Because I am getting that energy where somebody could become verbally abusive in a way. You know, get really aggressive with their words. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's only because they're mad because they can't move on. They can't. Mentally, they don't like that. They, they just don't like the simple fact that you have walked away. Because they stuck in their head. Now the swords. This person is having a lot of sleepless nights, Leo. They up at night because of this. They can, I'm telling y'all, somebody that must have a lot of air in their chart, or it could be dealing with an air sign, but it's a lot of swords. This person is mentally messed. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who is mentally, like, crazy, like, messed up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe they is all the way, I don't know, but I am getting that energy where they don't want to change, for one. You know, they don't like the simple fact that you walked away, for two, and they dang sure don't like the simple fact that you treating them like they're not important. For three. And for four, they, like I said, they stuck in their head. They stuck in their head because it, it, and it's the only reason why spirit putting this person through this is because they don't want to change. They don't want to reinvent themselves. They were they too complacent. They too stuck in their ways. They too they too stubborn. It's like they want to hold on to you, Leo, but at the same time they don't want to change. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. But I feel like a lot of my Leos are single. And they're rebuilding their life back up. You know what I'm saying? I really do feel that way. And I feel like y'all are very content, you know, being alone. Because like I said, y'all showing this person they're irrelevant. That's how content you is with this nine of pentacles right here. Like, you fine with, without this person, literally. You know, they over here going crazy. And can't sleep. Because you, um, you walked away and, you know what I'm saying, you cut them out. But I, ooh, these cards are too slippery. But I am seeing that. That's the, that's what it is. They, it's like they're too stubborn, they're too complacent, and they just, at the same time, they, they want to hold on to you. But, I, but they don't want to change. So that's why they're going through what they're going through, Leo. They can't. They, they, they want to play victim like you never hurt them. But in reality, obviously, they may have hurt you because you wouldn't feel the need to walk away. You see what I'm saying? So this is somebody that plays victim. And acting like you hurt them. They ain't do nothing but hurt themselves because they just, all it takes is to make a change. That's all it takes. That they too stubborn to do so. What else do we have? Isolation. Yeah, some of y'all may not want nothing to do with this person, Leo, anymore. Like, literally. I don't want nothing to do with this person, you know, so, yeah, this person is, like, literally stressed out over the simple fact that you don't want nothing to do with them, Leo, yep, dark night of the soul, this person going through the dark night of the soul, that's exactly what they're going through, we've got that nine of swords right there, where they can't sleep, where they, they can't do nothing but thinking about, think about you moving on, Leo, But it's also saying that y'all need to get away from this person because that's what they're going through, the dark night of the soul. And that's probably what you are doing, Leo. You're getting away from this person. Or at least trying to. But I am seeing that most of y'all have. And it's like as soon as you cut them off and act like they wasn't important, they want to try to come in and get hostile with you. Spirit's basically telling them they're going to do what they deem, they deem is by themselves. We got busy and distracted. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all are literally treating this person like they're irrelevant. Like, literally, like they don't exist. Because I feel like they may have treated you like this at one point in time, Leo, when you was dealing with them. But I am seeing that y'all focusing on yourself. Y'all very content with the way things are going right now in your life. And you find without this person. Meanwhile, they over here going crazy. You know, they too hot and cold for you, Leo. They too hot and cold for you. I, I really do feel that way. This person is just, they're a trip. Y'all dealing with somebody who is a trip, y'all. What else? Yeah, I just feel like y'all getting away from this person. Like, literally. 
person is toxic anyway. What else do we have? Dang, I can't believe I got all these swords. Person going through it mentally. They now I'm telling you guys. You don't miss this person that one bit with discontent and boredom reversed. You're not missing this person. You're not stuck on this person. You're not thinking about this person. You're not thinking of getting back together with this person. Even if you are thinking about this person, Leo, you don't want them. They're secretly not happy at all, Leo. Because they know it was a missed opportunity with you. They know that. But you, I'm telling you, desire, you don't have a desire. To, to want them, to need them at all. You're pulling back your energy, Leo. Because you see this person for who they really is. I'm hearing it's judgment day with this person. They're being judged. That's exactly what's happening. They're being judged and you walking into stability. You're walking into harmony. You're walking into a whole new life, Leo. A whole new life. Some of y'all may not know where the future may lie, but you will get there. That's exactly what I just heard. They under judgment right now. You planning for the future. You looking ahead. You're not looking back. You're looking ahead, Leo. It says movement, choices, and decision. Some of y'all, this person may have been juggling at one point in time. I'm hearing they made their bed, now they got to lay in it. They made their bed, and now they got to lay in it. Now the swords right here. These up at, up at night. Mr. Playing Victim. Y'all got a lot going on in y'all life, Leo. But this person is sick. This person is pissed, Leo. No lie. They pissed because you left. They don't have control over you. They don't. They don't have control over you. They don't have control over your life. And that's what they wanted. They wanted that control. And they don't have it anymore. Because you don't want nothing to do with them no more. Y'all don't love this person anymore. You don't see this person as your soulmate. You know, or any of that. Exactly what I just heard. Like, it's, it's a wrap. Your person, they pissed off. But they ain't got no choice but to be mad. Because, like I said, they under judgment right now. They made their bed. And now they got to lay in it. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Leo. Y'all take care.